Hello YouTube, this is Urban Survivor here, and um, today we're going to be discussing thermal or infrared imaging, and um, also how preppers can potentially use it to their advantage, and also how to hide yourself from it. So infrared is the wavelength that's just greater than that of red in the visible light spectrum, uh, but it's less than that of microwaves. And so thermal imaging uh, uses in the infrared spectrum, uh, which is em emitted by heated objects. So these infrared uh, waves have many common uses, including uh, remote controls, heat lamps, uh, astronomy, earth imaging, and things like that. Um, they're also commonly used by hunters to locate game and also by the military and law enforcement. And law enforcement can use um, thermal imaging to find people hiding in the dark and running through trees. And they uh, can even detect marijuana grow operations using thermal imaging. So before we dive in, I want to dispel some of the common myths about thermal imaging. So thermal imaging cannot see people through walls. And it can only detect things in its line of sight that give off heat. Also, it cannot be used to determine if a suspect is carrying a gun somewhere on their body or something like that. It can be used to see people in the dark and detect uh, other heat sources as well. And when you're looking at thermal imaging, generally speaking, um, objects that appear either to be purple or blue usually are cooler and the yellow and red objects are generally uh, a lot warmer. So first off, let's look at a few different ways that a prepper might uh, be able to use thermal imaging to their advantage. So if you live in a place with animals, you could potentially use thermal imaging to hunt. And there's a lot of scopes on the market that allow you to easily find animals that otherwise would be difficult to spot without a traditional scope. And thermal imaging could also be beneficial for home defense and perhaps could give you an advantage in seeing your enemies before they see you. And also if you were, you know, scavenging in an apocalypse type environment, you could use thermal imaging to help determine if other people were in an area, especially if it was dark. And there's a, a wide variety of different types of thermal imaging devices that are available to consumers. Um, you know, there's a, a wide variety of scopes. Uh, there's monoculars, there's binoculars. You can get thermal imaging cameras, and there's even uh, devices that you can connect to your Android phone or your Apple phone, and you can turn that into a thermal imaging device. So by now you probably have a few ideas about how this technology could be used against you. And it, it's pretty unlikely that the everyday person would have this technology and to be able to use it against you. But it is possible that the military or the law enforcement might use this technology in a martial law situation. And if your survival plans include avoiding law enforcement or FEMA camps uh, or something like that at all costs, then it might be worth considering ways to hide from thermal imaging uh, in case it's used against you. And in order to hide from thermal imaging, you need to be able to conceal your body heat. Um, there's an old movie, Predator, um, where the creatures in that movie uh, hunt down Arnold Schwarzenegger and they use thermal imaging to find people and then they use laser beams to you know kill them and there's one scene where Arnold covers his body with mud and he's able to hide from the alien creatures who are um, you know unable to see with their eyes but they're able to, to sense heat um, well I think this is an interesting idea uh, I don't think that this method would conceal body heat for very long because your body temperature would likely you know heat up the mud pretty quickly and then the mud would become the same temperature as your body so um, I, I don't think it would work very long maybe a, a couple minutes at best certainly it wouldn't be a an overnight solution by any means 
Um, so the best way to conceal yourself from thermal imaging is to cover yourself with something that reflects your body heat back at you. And, and most of you probably have something in your survival kits that can do this quite well. Um, so the thing that does it well is mylar. So mylar is a relatively cheap and highly reflective material and it's commonly used in survival blankets. Um, it's also used by indoor marijuana growers um, who are using high powered indoor lighting that give off a lot of heat and they basically can line the, the insides of their grow room with this stuff and then make it invisible to somebody who might be you know, using thermal imaging to try to, you know, determine if somebody was growing in a house, you know, maybe you had high electric bills or something suspicious like that. The police might use thermal imaging to see if they can, you know, determine if you have a grow operation or something like that. But uh, people use mylar to, to conceal this. Um, so there are a few products available that are designed to conceal people from thermal imaging. Basically, they consist of several layers of reflective material and insulations, which not only reflect your body heat back at you, but they also prevent the suit itself from absorbing your own body heat. So the issue with a lot of these suits is that they are not reflective enough and they don't insulate you enough and they can heat up over time, which would eventually give your position away. So you could try to make one of these suits on your own and that might do a good job of concealing your body heat uh, in the short term. But if you want something that you can wear for hours, you probably want to go with something that is professionally made. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed. Have a good one.